I didn't see it that way. I thought, oh, that's funny. LeBron's out there dunking. You know, be, my only negative reaction was, it'd be nice if he did that in a dunk contest. That's all. But he's, he's with his son. I got Taco Tuesdays. I mean, he's, he's there. It's the offseason. He's with his son. He's with his family. Man, there are other things I could be critical of LeBron or somebody in that position who wasn't around their family. But he got excited. I mean, his son dunks in a game, he gets excited. He's out, okay, should he be out there in the layup line? Okay, maybe not. But maybe it's a really cool thing for those players on his, his son's team. It's, I don't know. If, I just didn't see it that way. But people are making a living on criticizing LeBron James. There are times when I've been critical of him, but very few times. And when it comes to being a parent, he's there. He's in the moment. You know, I don't care what background. I don't care what race. I don't care. I, as a parent, you're there. And as a parent who wasn't there for 15 years because of my job and I missed out on that, man, I'm envious that he is there. I don't know if you can be there too much. I don't know. But, but, you know, I've embarrassed my kids before, but I embarrass them because I love them, because I'm out there with them. You know, they may not like what I say publicly or I give them a little grief or you dance with your daughter, or whatever it might be. But being there, that's the most important part of all of this that I saw. And I just don't know if Jason Whitlock truly thinks that, that, that this fame is as addictive, if not worse, than cocaine. I'm not sure if LeBron goes, you know, honey, or he's talking to Maverick Carter. Oh, I got to help out my brand, man. It's taking a couple of hits. I got to get some followers here. How do I get some followers? Get in the layup line with your son and throw down some slams. Yeah, that'll do it. I don't know if it's that calculated. Do I think LeBron went to Los Angeles with ulterior goals, motives? Yeah, I do. But I, I'm amazed at how many people are critical of LeBron James. Look at all the... He's done a lot of great things. Did I have a problem with the way he left Cleveland, the decision? Yes, I did. And I was critical of him. I mean, even the way he left the Miami Heat and Dwayne Wade, Pat Riley, yes. Even going to the Lakers, we all saw it coming. I was fine with it. He gave Cleveland a title. He went back to Cleveland to win a title, even though he had an owner who said... A lot of critical things about him. And he still went back. He built a school. You know, he's paying for college educations. Making it about him. <laughs> I am. <laughs> LeBron James School. Yeah. Oh, you had to name it oh, after okay. yourself. Yeah. 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 He couldn't name it after uh, Zedrunas Elgalskis or somebody. But I, I just, I am amazed. And I think Skip Bayless is a great businessman. But I don't. I don't think he's a performer. I don't think that he truly has this much venom, vitriol towards LeBron James. I really don't. But hey, he moves the needles. You know, when you're watching these shows, and I told you, I challenge you, how many times they talk about the Cowboys and LeBron James? As much as they possibly, that's why they hope this Zeke Elliott holdout doesn't end. Oh my God, what are we going to talk about? They can talk about Zeke. They can talk about it forever. LeBron, talk about it forever. What happens when LeBron retires? Does Skip Bayless retire when LeBron does? He announces his retirement the same day as LeBron does? Yes, Paul. I'm just curious if Drew Brees were at his son's football game and decides to warm up the wide receivers and throw some balls to them. Or, or Peyton Manning went to his son's football game and, and the little kid's like, hey, Mr. Manning, can you warm us up and throw some balls? Would it be... Front page lead of the show. Look at LeBron. Look at these guys making it about themselves. Same thing with Tom Brady. Yep. People are just waiting to be critical of Tom Brady. And now it's Aaron Rodgers' turn. Now they're all coming out. Aaron Rodgers. Now, now it's in vogue to you know, say Aaron Rodgers is overrated. Now it's just a matter of time before, you know, they they sort of the the arrow falls on you, and then everybody points to you and goes, okay, now we can be critical of him. But LeBron. His entire career has been this way. Remember, afraid to take a big shot? Remember that one? Afraid to take the big shot? Oh, he's not Michael Jordan? He's not. 
No, he's not. Uh, but, you know, they continue to dissect who LeBron is and what LeBron is. But as a – look, basketball-wise, he was out of shape last year, didn't play defense, didn't like the way he handled those younger players on the Lakers, didn't like it at all. Not a veteran leadership and somebody these players idolize. You may know that they're going to be traded. They may know that. Treat him with more respect than you did. But as far as a parent, you got to be careful when you criticize parenting. But what I see with LeBron James, he's a pretty good father. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.